Good morning, good morning. Huh. So we're gonna do a little bit of art real quick. More people are coming in. We're gonna play some Starcraft. Mm -mm -mm. And then we're gonna play later what I'm gonna draw. What a Bruce. What you up to, Bruce? Paint a little chaotic to get to the right, get to the. What? What up, Lost Marine? How you doing? Don't know why my Prime doesn't stay subbed. Oh, they, they never do. They want you to decide different people at times if you forget. This is what they do. So they want you to kind of like make a, a mindful decision every time. How you doing? How's everything? Just uh, starting my day, waiting for people to come in, so I'm gonna do a little bit of quick art. I'm not really going into like details right now, I'm just kinda like filling color. You know, just just to challenge myself. <laughs> Always change my art strat. more to keep you guys from knowing what I'm doing. 
<laughs> so you guys can figure it out. If you guys guess, let me know. It's a pen. <laughs> be really easy to identify for for most So they say there's more than one out. <laughs> what? Fallout, man. What? Who told you? It's more than one way to climb a mountain, right? I mean, there's more than one way to climb a mountain. Same thing in StarCraft. There's more than one way to get better. And in art, too. In art, there's, there's more than one way to get to the end. You know, everything's... You know, the experience, the, the journey is the most important part. The final destination should result in, you know, similar um, outcomes, I would say. You know, when you're good, you're good. Yeah, we're going to play some StarCraft right now. But we're going to play Fallout later. And we're going to play Fallout afterwards. We'll play in a little bit.
Please gotta give you what? Give you beer? Uh, I'm doing the uh, New Vegas. I've never played the Fallout's, but people want me to play the the New Vegas. So we're gonna we're gonna go do that. hair real quick wider trying to get his ink <clears throat> his shape Maybe a little bit longer. I'd say that. I don't want his head too short. So we're kind of going to get an idea of now. All right, Shadow. So now we'll start with ch chess Spanish. If that doesn't, this doesn't do cannon rush. All right, Shadow. Yeah, I'm gonna play some StarCraft in a little bit, but I'll catch you up uh, to your thing.
Okay, so now. Do this part a little bit. back a little bit to put his eyebrow <laughs> fix his eyebrow a little bit <laughs> Like with oil paints, you don't have to worry about like messing up, you just do it over again. So it's kind of like when I do this, I do kind of like oil painting. I kind of just don't worry about like making big, you know, or small mistakes. Just you're just getting like an outline of where everything is. And then you fix things later. I usually start in one area and then I kind of spread out. I haven't tried Fallout 3 Digital. We could definitely do it sometime. So we're gonna drop the this a little bit and then do the ear. Put the ear a little bit bigger. A little smaller, I mean a little lower. So we're gonna look at the color. Kind of work it. Oh. Right. Get some blue. Boom. 
Magic the Gathering currently has 1k cards of fall in a Fallout set. Really? <clears throat> like that one's a uh, Magic the Gar Gathering's a tough one because that's a lot of cards you have to learn. I think I already had my my dose when it came to um, cards with Pogs. I did I did Pogs when I was um, younger, and. Um, Try to get the idea of where the character is I'm not going to go into detail of course but so it goes like right here Fucking Tintin. Back later. All right, Bruce. What up, Demon? No, this is just a... Um, I'm just waiting for people to come in. I'm just kind of like... I'm not really like... Spending a lot of time in the art. I figure this is an easy... Cartoon to do. While I wait. Do a little speed art, you know?
More richer blue. It's kind of right. not bad. <laughs> We're trying to speed speed. Oh, this part a little bigger. Boom, 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 boom. go for our basics but oh, believe me we could this is just rough draft <laughs> if we wanted to make it super cartoon detailed oh we could but we're not really trying to do too much art it's just more like just waiting for you guys to come out yeah we're gonna be playing fallout not right now but today later on after starcraft <clears throat> We're gonna get a little bit of um, Fallout. People have been um, been asking for it. I've been asking what other games you guys want. I haven't heard anything. It's just silence, other than Fallout. So. Yo, messy two weapon. Yo, here I give him.
pylon. There you go. You got a nice little pylon. Don't let him, don't, if he uses it, it's gonna be dangerous. There we go. Hello. <laughs> you get a little Nexus hat. What? 35 minutes and art? What are you talking about, Ar uh, Ike? You are left-handed. No wonder your creative persons, left-hand persons are... I'm left and right. I'm both. When it comes to art, I do both. I think I feel like you have to learn how to do both. You have to learn how to use your left and your your right, because um, sometimes it's easier to use. It's, it's like um, playing pool. You ever play play pool? Playing pool, you you gotta be left and right sometimes in order to to hit a shot that's awkward. Sometimes there's some awkward shots, and so it you know. Someone told me, oh, I didn't know you were left-handed. I was like, I'm, I'm not. But I use my left like I use my right. <laughs> I'm not sure where that is. But, yeah, I feel like it's important. Like, as an artist, you know, same thing. If I need to get to an area doing this way, I don't want to do it like this, you know. You know, I, I need to do it like this. And, you know, so... 
practice. You know, I think it. A lot of people are left right-handed because they don't practice right and left uh, as a whole. Um, sometimes you don't need it, so you you end up doing what works. Just like in StarCraft, you end up doing what's common. I'm gonna be a right-handed player, player the whole StarCraft, you know. But I'm not going to do left hand because that's cheese and that's creative and that's, you know, so I'm not going to use my left hand. I'm just only going to use my right. Me, I learned to use both. Left hand, right hand. Cheese, macro. That makes sense. Snowboarding goofy. Oh, yuck, yuck. How do I, how do I, I forgot how you even do Goofy. Yeah. How do you even do Goofy? I forgot his, um. Not goofy, that's um that's um Pluto. That's Pluto, that's not goofy. Whoopsie. In Swedish, am the dexterous. In us English, it will be am the dexterous. Yeah, I've heard of that, the amber dexterous. But yeah, just, just perspective on things, a little different. Just, you know, we're climbing a mountain. I just happen to climb it slightly different or in a different location. You know, let's get some StarCraft. Let's see here. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I love art though. Art, art is fun. so expressive like in starcraft starcraft is art it's expressive art is awesome i love art You too, Eric? People always look at me funny when I use a knife in the left hand. Yeah, you know what I mean? See, you're, you're open-minded to not be limited. You're, you're, you know, if you were to be conscious about it and go, oh, I'm going to use my right hand because I'm right-handed, then you're just going to live a lie because you're not right-handed. You're both-handed. You just choose right. Because it's more comfortable, and, and that's where we're, we're a creature of comfort. <laughs> if we get into that comfort zone, we will stay in that comfort zone, unless we choose to get out of that comfort zone and experience life. Because <laughs> life is scary, and it's you never know what's gonna happen. I heard there's people that aren't good with either hands. They're called Aben, Abenister, Abenister, really? I'm ambidextrous. I've always described it as being clumsy with both hands. 
Well, okay, that's not another way to say it. <laughs> Pleasure with both hands. That's what I am in StarCraft. Channel works. I'm clumsy on both hands in StarCraft. Why? Because I'm learning macro, but then I'm also learning micro. And because it's taking me a lot longer because it's both hands, just like it is for somebody playing one race versus random race, I'm going to be a little more clumsier for a little while compared to the average, you know. But when I get the hang of it, then we're talking, you know, when we're when we're getting comfortable and like I got you know I like to be comfortable knowing the whole shebang hey Martha how you doing by a little bit just, just a tiny little bit oh, let me turn off the uh, let me turn off the... Uh, oh, yeah, that is off. Okay. And we're going to play some StarCraft right now. But, yeah, later we're going to play some... Um, some uh, Fallout. Is that a big game? Like you, you could spend like a lot of hours in that game. Is it bigger than Elden Ring, or it's a little smaller than Elden Ring in regards to length play? I'm not even sure how long these games are. I know it varies based on adventure, right? But like on a straight line, what time is it in California? It is 3:15 in the morning. Three fifteen in the morning. I know it's early morning, and we're up. We're up for the other side of the world. Eleven fifteen a.m. or p.m. We're gonna start right now. Oh, in the morning. Rise and shine, rise and shine. Let me see. see we'll do single races we'll, we'll pick our races see if we could pick up some of these <clears throat> we'll just do Terran Zerg Protoss Terran Zerg Protoss balance the force What? <laughs> no, we'll get, we'll do a balance. When's more Elden Ring? I think, I think, I don't know, tonight, today maybe, later today? Or tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow for sure with Doug Sluggins. Not, we'll see if he's free today. Some Elden Lord. I'm doing all boss runs, so I'm, I'm hunting for bosses. With uh, I'm doing basic shield, basic sword. Maybe a little bit later today, but for sure tomorrow. By later today, just know it's two, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so later today means some sometime today. <laughs> we're gonna play Fallout for a few hours, then we're gonna play StarCraft afterwards, and then after that, we could do some Elden Lord. What's 
going on? Be in the rear with that CV ready. Mm. Big job, huh? SCV ready. SCV ready. Bad news. Yes, sir. Uh huh. I'm going. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep. Sure thing. Roger. Do I have... Feels different, right? Okay. Probably wasn't activated. No, not lag. This better be good. SCV ready. No, it wasn't lag. What? We hear this you. Is, oh. SCV ready. Systems go. Cyclone ready for action. Actually, we could get this base early. is done. Doesn't that look fancy? He's like, stop chewing the minerals. I want to chew them. I should do that for this one. What a little. I'm sure you don't mean it in the worst ways. I look at him, he's like. That command center upgrade you ordered is here. Somewhere else, systems go cyclone ready for action. Oh. Well. 
That command center upgrade you ordered is here. Optics online. Let's go kill something. Upgrade complete. SCV ready. Get a little bit of Hellions. Let's kill this hatch, though. Okay, oh, we can't. Wow, you mined all those minerals already. Look at you. Systems go. Cyclone ready for action. Yes, Commander. All right, let's go. Ready to raise Optics online. Let's it's a trap. What's going on? Systems go. Cyclone ready for action. It's a trap. You, the muta should be coming soon. Our corruptors. Oh no, I'm making... Research complete. We got supply blocked hard. get through yes sir yeah, yeah. yes commander i still got like 200 depleted. bad news ready to raise some hell ready to raise some hell all right let's get big job huh Huh? Yep. SCV ready. All right, let's go in with uh, some some widow memes. Get some ghosts. Ah, you scared me. Bad news. Oh no, you guys ain't gonna trust me. I'm gonna keep it light over there. Nope, it's gonna take a little while, buddy. We have a nuke. Be careful where you point that thing. Ghost reporting. Ooh, roasty roast. Squadron en route. I'm on it. Go. Agent channel secure. I remember when this was all minerals. Now look at it. Repeat that. Are you ready for this? Standing by. Your research is done. Don't forget the rest of them. Adjusting for new coordinates. And gear. Wow, you mined all those minerals already. Look, you're engaging the opponent. Got a target in mind. I get you. Cyclones. It's good to know. Cyclones actually reach here. Your forces are taking damage. Oh. 
Testing for new coordinates. Go. The mules are hell divers. Nuclear missile ready. Commencing operations. Orders received. <clears throat> Affirmative. Oh, you saw the art? I know. We didn't even get to nuke. Standing by. Comms open. Out with it. Mm-mm. Standing by. Channel secure. Ghost reporting. Beautiful. Got a sit rep. Go. Like a ghost in the fog. If only he was uh, alive to see it. it. On it. Oh, yeah. That's what we did earlier. <laughs> That was just uh, like speed art. <laughs> it's not a. Uh, it's not my final form. <clears throat> you like it? Yeah. Sometimes I want to do a little bit of art videos, just doing some art for people that like art. This is more like a speed art where I was just doing random areas to cover where what's what and then kind of like work around that because, you know, I was just trying to share like that it doesn't have to start looking good from the beginning. You could just, you can kind of just get there eventually. <laughs> I, sh I swear we should have like a, a shoelace huh Ike we should have like a shoe untied as an icon as a as a meme emote yeah one of my favorites let's see Show you one of, one of my favorite arts. Um, I don't know if you guys ever, um, like in in high school, you know, I wore some type of shoes most of my most of my high school year. And uh, let's see if I have it here. <laughs> Where is it? A lot, of, a lot of scrolling. Oh, oh right here. So, these are my high school shoes right here. <laughs> so I, um, I painted them. You guys ever paint your shoes? Your high school shoes? My shoelace is untied right there. Yeah, I figured I'd paint them in a mirror. Or so that when I paint them in the mirror, if I paint it and I look in all directions, it should look like a mirror, you know, feel. 
it shouldn't look weird if I flip it, you know, so I made sure I, you know, I did the thing. But bowling shoes? Yeah, I wore those bastards. I ran in them. I jumped, climbed, everything. Did it. I wore those bastards so so much. I had to retire them with an art, with the painting. You know, I was like, oh yeah, you're you're definitely you've been you've been through tough times. You know, you always be remembered. <laughs> Alright, just go Zerg. What did I do in Limbo? Limbo? I didn't do much with Limbo. I only I only did Limbo twice. Once in my middle school. Um, you know, um, all my class was doing, was in the auditorium doing games and Limbo was one of them and I beat everybody. And then we did one in uh, high school. I mean, in college. I mean, in college. In high school. In high school, um, there was, we did the same thing. And, um, yep, they remembered. They remembered. Yep. They're like, nope. We can't beat them. Still couldn't beat me. Am I Navajo? Shoot, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. There's, um... There's a guy that... I believe is Navajo. Was it... What movie did that come from? Um... I think it was called, oh, Wind Talkers. Let's see. So in the movie Wind Talkers, there's a guy that <laughs> they're like, oh, you look like this person. What's his name? Oh, this guy. <laughs> Is it uh where is he? Just put a little Nexus hat. <laughs> Let's see. Da, 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 da. So maybe. <clears throat> yeah. I look like him. He looks like me, I think. He looks like me, not me look like him. Let's get that straight. Too pale? Yeah. Let's see the other person. So maybe, I don't know, maybe just like a, a splash. <laughs> yeah. I was laughing like, what? And then, uh, oh, and Elon Musk. They say I look like Elon Musk. Elon Musk's son. I was like, what?
proxy hatch, bro. Roaches. Who am I facing? Protoss. I'll try to do his. He uh, did a fast expand. sees it. Let's go this way to see if we see it. Nope. Better, smarter, faster, biteier. Engaging the opponent. The other guy is attacking you. That hardly seems fair. Thank <laughs> you. 
You have a new queen. Those hatcheries won't inject themselves. I don't think he liked that we were in the same base. Yeah, the problem. I did what I said, of course. We got it done together. So the problem with this one is that usually, at times, uh, a lot of times the probe stays here to build stuff so it doesn't go back over here for a little while if any uh, so he's not gonna catch although I still don't know if it's gonna see it if it if it angles this way you know if the probe goes this way I don't know if it sees it or not it might Yeah, it should. Look at that. Barely. Yeah, yeah it just should. That's where the map makers, they should have made it just a little wider so they could do it, and it's up to the player to scout it. You know what I mean? They got to. They're not that bright. But they're alright, but they're not when it comes to creativity you know why not have that to be a possible unscoutable if the probe comes down here you know why not that would be a possibility that you're leaving open and your opponent just has to be good enough to scout and to scout is part of starcraft so yeah they missed it by an inch they missed a good opportunity by an inch Proxy is just very difficult to me. There's another way doing it at that. At that is Dark's way. Three drones to our spines. Roach Rush? Three drones to our spines. And what's the other drone? What's the third drone? Oh, what's what's well? 
Mine's pretty dirty. What is it? Um, let's see. This one Moving can be hard enough. Bom, bom, bom. Let's see here, I'll show you, I'll give you the link. How do I share it? Share, copy. All right, yeah, that's the way I usually do it. When it. I do three drones as well. Oh, for those who want the link that I gave them. So I do uh, three drones as well. I, and I do a spine crawler brush. You think the burrow? Of course, if you're good with burrow. Because you, it's good to have burrow in general. I mean, as a zerg, you should have it eventually. Oh shoot! I'm supposed to play um. As Protoss now. Good morning, Tiare. Good morning, good morning. Renner Rage under <laughs> Too pale, one of his many kids. Yeah, they regenerate a lot faster. And eventually they could burrow and move at the same time. Burrow movement. You know? No PvP.
Fewer probes means more space for units. Great plan, boss. <laughs> I'm gonna trap them. They're piling on your pylon. He's gonna come out from here. Oh no, he didn't. Your pylons are under attack. Oh, I gotta do this a little quicker. Maybe I should do it quicker. The stalkers. Well played. Alright, so I have to do it qu quicker. <clears throat> I don't know if we should put the pylon down. I was trying to trap the zealot. But I did show myself a little quick. So I gotta just go straight to it. Pylon, cannon, time it. Just a little quick. Chomp, chomp. The eviction notice. Oh my sweet baby Jesus.
up to I am here in the shadows I am Try to get crazy. So what happened? So go for a pylon, forge, go around. And then put the pile on here. You can put it right on the edge of the mineral if you wanted to, technically. But. Alright, I look around. There's no barracks. No barracks. And then we got gas. If it was no barracks and no gas on any of these two, then I would say it's a uh, marine rush for, for a gate. And what you do with the no gas supply depot, no, ga well, no barracks, is you make cannons in the front. Because you can't, and then you gotta just make sure you patrol a probe in the back. So a probe in the back patrol and cannons in the front will take care of the um, the no gas play. Um, but because there's gas, it's gonna be a reaper. It could be cyclones, but it's probably gonna be reaper. At least that's the earliest thing that could affect you. That's you know that you can get in gas uh, quantities at the moment. You'd have to mine, uh, mine a little bit longer to get a factory's worth of uh, gas and as well as um, a reaper because they'll get a reaper as well anyways. They'll get a reaper, then it takes a while for to get the gas. Then from the gas, they got to get the cyclones. So that's gas, gas, gas. So at this early of the game, they only have a little bit of time to really get there. So it's not going to be a cyclone. Not at this timing. It would, you know, if you disrupt them early, it's going to be reapers. So... That being said, because I know it's not going to be marines, then I go for a pylon on the inside. No cannons in the choke. And then a cannon here and a cannon here. That way he can't go around and harass. He can't go around and harass, but we also need the gas. And he's getting the factory. He's trying to land the factory over here. He came in trying to harass and he ran, ran into two cannons. So I knew now that his reaper is dead. So that being said, if he gets another reaper, I still have cannons. So because he lost his reaper, I know he lost his reaper. I'm going to go over and attack him. Because at this time, he's finally landing. Right? He's finally landing and he's getting situated again. And what do you do? You try to get your gases. And we're going to deny the gas. It's 
Now he has to relocate. But the gas is the part that I'm slowing him down with. I leave one behind for a pylon. He tries to come back to land, and that's why I leave one probe. Yeah, from right there, we already delayed him for so much gas that we could literally just go into a gas play. Uh, Void Ray, Tempest, you know, double base carriers. Uh, you should be able to take advantage of that gas difference. GG. <clears throat> oh, it's kind of quiet right now. I guess we could play um, Fallout now. Oh. Alright, we're going to start up Fallout. Should be a fun adventure. I have to reset the video real quick. See you guys in a bit. I'm gonna be playing. Uh, call, uh, what was it the Fallout New Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> 